Before we get started, I'm going to be giving Gleam Talks in Colorado, Stockholm, and Krakow over the next few months. More details can be found on screen or in the description. Make sure to use the code Isaac Harris Holt for 15% off LambdaConf tickets. I like chess. I grew up playing and losing to my grandpa every time I went to go and visit, and I occasionally have an online chess phase where I play and lose to strangers on the internet. I also like Gleam, and I like keeping my programming skills sharp with fun challenges. So, I've decided I'd run a bit of a competition. One pitting you, my amazing viewers, against each other in a giant fight until just one remains. Well, one of your chess bots, anyway. If you want more ways to keep your programming skills sharp, check out this video sponsor, CodeCrafters, using the link in the description, or stick around to the end of the video to find out more. So, how does the tournament work? Essentially, your task is to build a Gleam program that takes a chessboard as input and returns a move you'd like your particular side to make. You can enter alone or in a group, and your entry should be a Gleam HTTP server with a slash move endpoint that will accept a post request with the following parameters. Then, a string representing the current board in Forsyth Edwards notation, turn, either black or white, and failed moves. A list of moves that your bot has already tried this turn that weren't valid for whatever reason. The response should have a 200 status and contain a string representing the move your bot would like to make in algebraic notation. There's a GitHub repo in the description that contains a couple of templates for the web server, one for Erlang, and one for JavaScript that you should use when writing your bot. Of course, I don't want you to do all the work of creating the best chess bot the Glean language has ever seen without any sort of reward. So let's talk prizes. Naturally, the best prize is the knowledge and friends we gained along the way. But there are some goodies too. Firstly, the most interesting solution, regardless of actual tournament placement, will win $50 cash and a t-shirt or mug from the fabulous Gleam merch store. As a quick plug, the store is at shop.gleam.run if you fancy some really cute Lucy merch and the proceeds go towards funding Gleam's development. Other than that, there are some pretty good prizes for the podium too. The third place entry will win $100 cash and a t-shirt or mug. Second place will get $300 cash and a t-shirt or a mug. And last, but absolutely not least, the first place bot will go home with a staggering $500, a Lucy t-shirt and a Lucy mug. That's pretty good, eh? All that said, there have to be a few rules. A full list can be found in the readme of the repo in the description, but as a quick overview, each individual or team may only submit one entry, but you can update your entry up until the deadline. You're limited to a set number of external libraries, the full list of which can be found on GitHub. Both FFI and any form of IO are banned, so there won't be any LLMs playing chess this time around. And your compute resources will be limited to two CPU cores and 512 megabytes of RAM, which should be plenty. Finally, if you want to stay on top of tournament updates, you can subscribe to the tournament newsletter at buttondown.com slash gleamchess. The link for that is on GitHub and in the description. If you have any questions, you can ask them in a GitHub issue or in the chess tournament channel of my Discord server, which will also be linked in the description. The tournament is currently slated to run until noon UTC on June 8th, 2025. After that, I'll probably do a Twitch stream or make a video showcasing the entries and revealing the winners, so make sure to get subscribed for that. And once again, I'd like to thank CodeCrafters for sponsoring this video. CodeCrafters is an online platform where you can learn software engineering skills by doing. And you're not just writing little hello world programs. With CodeCrafters, you're building your own versions of real production systems like Redis, Kafka, or even a shell. And once your code is ready, you can push your code to the CodeCrafters Git server to have a full suite of automated tests run against your solution. If you get stuck, there are plenty of excellent community solutions you can browse through. CodeCrafters is a great way to learn a new language or polish up your skills with an existing one. They even have loads of Gleam content. If you're interested, go to ihh.dev slash codecrafters or check out the link in the description for a free trial and then 40% off your first purchase. So, which strategies do you have in mind for the chess tournament? Something fun? Perhaps something crazy? Or are you just going to try playing some random moves and see how it goes? Let me know down in the comments below. If you need to brush up on your Gleam skills, 
you'll find the video on the left of your screen useful, but YouTube knows your preferences better than I do and is suggesting the video on the right. See ya and good luck.